hello, my name is Richard Gatch, employee number uh, 70466, physical therapy license number 18215. I'm here for my deposition. How long do I have to stay in the tube? You have to stay in the tube as long as you uh, have pain and limitations. Pa limitations by pain. Pain is going to be your guide. Is it okay if my husband mows? Yes, it's okay if your husband mows the lawn as long as you or somebody else starts the lawnmower for him if it's a full string or if I think they have a push button, he could do that. My bedroom is on the second floor of my house. Is it safe to go up and down the stairs? Yes, it is. Can I ride my Harley Davidson? Uh, it is not. Theoretically, yes, you would be able to ride your Harley Davidson, but the problem is, is people must think about uh, the risk-benefit ratio of performing these high-risk activities because if you were to wreck your Harley Davidson, that would be a significant problem for your chest at this moment in time. Can I ride my bicycle outside? Um, that falls under the same uh, information as I gave in the previous question, so the, uh, the answer is at this point we would ask that you hold off on that until later down the road. Is it okay for me to swim right now? Uh, it's, it's, you have to wait for your wound to heal. Once the wound is healed, uh, then you would be able to go into the pool, but again, keeping your arms out of the, the, the tube, so maybe doggy paddling or stuff like that would be acceptable. Is there any amount of weight that I can't lift? As long as you stay within the tube, you can lift as much weight as you uh, f uh, have to or that you're able to. Uh, but again, in the tube and let pain be your guide. My doctor told me not to lift more than five pounds. Now you're telling me that he's wrong. What should I do about that? Right. I'm not telling you that he's wrong. It's just a slightly different philosophy that he or she may not have access to. Um, my recommendation is, since you're here in our facility, that you follow our recommendations, and then I will reach out to your physician and have a conversation with him or her and see if we can come to a meeting of the minds. My doctor told me not to lift more than a Dallas phone book. I live in Garland. Is it okay if I lift a Garland phone book? Well, again, um, I don't even know if people have phone books, so you might be a novelty. But anyhow, uh, uh, there's again, go back to keep your move in the tube if you're lifting anything of weight or loading your arms. I want to be in a dart tournament next week, but my wife doesn't want me to go. Is throwing darts okay? Throwing darts is okay as long as you modify your, your, your positioning and keep your move in the tube. So you must be careful because if you lift your arm up, you may be out of the tube. So, you know, it would be this type of thing. So I don't know how functional it will be, but if you want to do that and you maintain the, the keep your move in the tube, have fun. Is it okay for me to work out on an Airdyne bike? Uh, the Airdyne bike has the component that you can use the arms. So if you get on the Airdyne bike and you do not use the arms, that would be acceptable. But if you get on the Airdyne bike now and you utilize the arms, you'll be moving out of the tube, so therefore it's not acceptable at this time. How am I going to clean this tube that you give me? I'm sorry? How am I going to <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to clean this tube that you give me? Oh, it, actually, that's a great question. I get that all the time. There's no need to clean it. It actually cleans itself at night. <laughs> okay, clarify for real. People are confused. He thinks you're giving him a tube. Oh, I, I thought that was a Jenny question. Yes, um, you know what? That, that's, that's a great question, and, and I'm sorry. Uh, we, we, it, that was just an analogy that we use for patients so that they can understand how to move. It's an imaginary tube. And um, it, it's nothing that you're going to be able to see, touch, or feel. I train a horse. Is it okay for me to ride my horse right now? Uh, that would fall under the same behavior as riding a bicycle or riding your Harley Davidson. At this point, I would refrain from that type of activity until you, you get further down the road. My husband loves to mow, and he has a riding mower. We have a 10-acre farm, and the ground is bumpy. I understand that a riding mower is in the tube, but will the bumpy ride have a bad effect on his sternum? No. Uh, if you were using a jackhammer or if you were, uh, I mean, if, no, that, that, that's not going to be an issue. The issue is going to be turning the, the steering wheel, and I, I don't have a riding mower in Florida, so I don't know if it's this type of thing or if you have this type of thing. So um, uh, if you're on the mower, uh, the, the, the vibration is not going to adversely affect you. Can I walk my dog when I get home? Depending on the size dog, but what I would like to say is refrain from walking the dog at this moment because if you're not paying attention and the dog runs after a squirrel or a rabbit, it may jerk your arm in an unexpected manner. So uh, I would refrain from that. Have someone else walk the dog, therefore you and the dog can continue to bond and you can get out and enjoy the environment. 
I had a friend who had the same surgery and reached down and picked up his grandkid. He popped a wire and had to go in and get another surgery. I think what you're telling me is insane, and I'm going to follow what my doctor told me. Is that okay? Well, you know, uh, you have every right to do what you feel comfortable doing, but it's my job to educate you about what's the philosophy of this new approach. And by all means, picking up a child is absolutely no problem as long as you keep yourself within the tube. So the way I tell people is um, sit down, have the child come to you. You can hold them and love them up and stand up. Or if it's an infant, somebody can hand you the child and you can hold the child as long as you're within the tube. I work on an oil rig out in Galveston Bay. Is it okay if I go back to work next week? Well, you know, it, what exactly do you do on the oil rig? If you are in an office, then that would be something that I, and, and, I, and, I, and I'm not quite sure what people do on an oil rig, but let me just be clear. Office work, would, any type of work would be acceptable as long as you keep your move in the tube. How long do I have to wait until I can have sex? Whether you're a man or a woman, uh, there you can have sex immediately. Uh, the issue is, is it's typically not so much the person that had the surgery that has the issue, um, but it's the person that is the non-operative person that is concerned about hurting the person that just had the surgery. So modify positions, pay attention to keep your move in the tube, and any type of positioning is appropriate as long as uh, the, the, the person who had the surgery keeps their move in the tube. My mom reached out of the tube yesterday to get a Kleenex. Do you think she may have broken one of her wires? That's a great question. Um, you know, we say, you know, arms weigh anywhere from 6 to 10 pounds. So we say to people, um, you know, we don't want you to pick anything, pick up anything that has weight. So clearly a piece of paper or tissue is acceptable. Uh, no, I, I do, if, if she did not feel or hear a click or a pop or has any adverse effects or, or pain, then I would not be worried about it. So I would not pick up anything heavier than a Kleenex. Is it okay if I sleep on my stomach? That's a really good question. I see no reason why you could, yes, you can sleep on your stomach, but then you want to be careful that you don't put your hands up like this, so your hands have to be within the tube. My husband is an avid bodybuilder. He is devastated that he may never be able to lift weights again. That is why he didn't come to this class, because he seems depressed. What should I tell him? Do you think he can lift weights again? Yes, I do believe he's, yes, he will be able to lift weights as for this time, for this period of time right now after surgery, and he gets into phase two, he'll be lifting within the tube.